Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis and welcome back to Jeep Elise Weapons of Justice. We are going to be taking on Mission 17, The Defector. Let's get started. Negotiations between Commander Speak and the Marine Defector will be taking place in Loader Dome. Your mission is to secure the area, eliminating any Marine units present. Then escort the APC carrying Commander Speak to and from the rendezvous point and ensure that security is not compromised during the negotiations. Any marine patrols that enter the vicinity during the negotiations are to be eliminated before they have a chance to report back to their superiors. All right, looks like not all the United Earth Marine Corps personnel are on board with Colonel Grice's little uprising here. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do to help out. Escort the APC safely to the rendezvous point. Clear the dome of all Marine units. Alrighty. Let's get ahead of them and start to clear our people. Experimental low light vision activated. Warning, you are entering a restricted area. This is your only warning. Too bad. Marine units destroy. Move on to the next group. units approaching scout bikes all right let's do it around the rendezvous point. Surrender or you will be destroyed. I'm not taking any of your threats, sir. Marine defectors have arrived. Protect the defector's craft from marine attack. Thank you. 
we go. Warning, incoming Marine Patrol. This is Patrol 62. Identify yourself, Marine Unit. Keep elite pilot. Destroy that patrol before they can report. Units incoming. Move to intercept. Copy that. Let's give them some starburst. Fighters approaching. Warning. Experimental low light vision has malfunctioned. Shutting down. Experimental low light vision activated. Patrol destroyed. Return to the APC. Not too shabby. The negotiations are over. Returning to base. Ah, oh, shh. Destroy those gunboats immediately, Alpha Wing. Say starbursts are only good for gunboats, and there we go. APC has reached a safe point. Mission complete. Lordy. That was crazy. brought his troops over to our side. The plan was to move quickly and attack Grice's men before they realized what was going on. Kincaid was leading a heat insertion team to attack and hold the planetary defense systems. Our job was to come up fast and give Kincaid's team air support as quickly as possible, while the rest of our combined forces attacked Grice's troops on two fronts. There it is. Chief Police actually have a chance to survive now. 
There you go. Since no Marine units were allowed to get close enough to detect Major Kincaid's presence, the negotiations were successfully completed. With most of Grice's rear guard in the storage dome either destroyed or disbanded, we have been able to move our ground forces in and secure Loader Dome with minimal resistance. Now that Kincaid and his Marines are effectively allies, our strategic position within this war has improved considerably. Major Kincaid, defecting to join G Police forces, will have left a bitter taste in the mouth of Colonel Grice. Yep. Good work. Yep, yep, yep. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of G Police Weapons of Justice on this Throwback Thursday. Hope you guys did enjoy, and of course, we shall see you on the next video. Make sure you take care of yourselves and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.